Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings here, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, and even a dash of Disney. So if you like unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. As always, if you're already subscribed, thanks again for being here and welcome back. Today I have a book subscription to share with you. It's called Peace and Pages. Now they have two different subscription tiers. They have their basic box for $25.99 plus $6.99 in shipping, and that will always include a book in one of your pre-selected genres as well as a full-size bath product and a full-size aromatherapy product or you can do their deluxe box for $37.99 plus shipping and that will include all of those things plus a book themed accessory or gift as well as a snack or drink. I love that they work with small businesses across the country. I think that's one of the things that makes this subscription so unique. I also love that they have the option of doing a bi-monthly subscription if you're someone like me where it's sometimes takes a little bit longer to get through the books than you might like. Now this time I believe they've upgraded me again to the deluxe box which I really love because you guys know I love getting a snack. It just makes that reading experience so much more fun. They also theme the boxes by month which is always kind of fun as well and you can kind of see that in the product. So this time it came in a very sleek black box so it's probably got some maybe spooky vibes to it I'm guessing. But inside we just have a nice uh, piece of cardboard that says thank you on it because it's keeping everything in place. So the theme for this month's box, the October box, is Harvest Moon, which I love. And again, there's a lot of like lunar and celestial themes going on in a lot of subscription boxes. So it does tell us what we got and it tells us where they are from, what companies they're from. So if you ever want to look up any of these products online, you definitely can. And I'm very excited about the snack. I already got a little sneak peek of that. So the snack is uh, like, looks like it's right on top. So we're just gonna talk, oh no, what a, one of the snacks is right on top. So it is some hot cocoa, you guys, in single serving bags. And we got three different flavors. It is not quite cold enough here in San Diego for hot cocoa, but I do love hot cocoa. So this is by Moonstruck from Portland, Oregon. We got a creamy milk chocolate. It's got like that nice little moon on it. So it's already going with the Harvest Moon theme just by the brand name. We got a milk chocolate cinnamon. It says this is a little nuttier. Oh, the milk chocolate was creamy. This one is nutty. And then we have minty. So this is the milk chocolate mint. I love chocolate mint. Mint chocolate chip is like one of my favorite ice cream flavors. I love mint and chocolate together. I usually like dark chocolate, but with a cocoa, I feel like milk chocolate's gonna be good. So that is exciting. Again, that's by Moonstruck Chocolate in Oregon. So the next thing I'm seeing, oh, these are cute cute. So we've got some moon phase magnets and these are like the little ones. So if you have like a little, I don't like to put magnets on our refrigerator in our kitchen because it's very, um, they totally work on it because it's black, but it's got this very scratchable surface. So I know there's a way to open this neatly, but I'm just gonna use my scissors so I can get into them. There are these little moon phase magnets from Paper Sonata in Virginia, but these would look adorable on like a little magnetic board in your office. But look, they're just these little buttons and they've got the little different moon phases. But we got eight of them, so they're just holding each other on from either side. So I think those are really, really cute, adorable, and useful. So that's a nice little extra item that goes with the theme. And then, you guys know I love this for our aromatherapy product this month. We got a candle in Harvest Moon. This one is an eight ounce candle, so they aren't skimping on this. It has a 60 hour burn time and is by Cave Glow, and it just came in this nice jar. So this is the hand poured candle from Cave Glow Studio in New York. So again, I love that they work with businesses all over the country. Let's give it a smell and see what a Harvest Moon smells like. Definitely got those fall feels. Mmm, smells a little like apple cidery. So nice. Mm, I like that a lot. Sometimes the like scents can be a little bit too sweet for me, especially in the fall, but this one is nice. Just, just the right amount of spice that I think that my husband won't be upset about it. Then we got a bath bomb, which you guys know I'm more of a shower steamer girl, but that is just one of the things that I've had to learn to deal with. But you know what? I have so many friends that are very happy to receive the bath bombs that I get. So this is by Full Moon Bath. 
full moon bath bomb by the little bubble in Oklahoma. Sorry. I thought they had another company that had like moon in the name. I was going to be really, really impressed. So this is the full moon bath and it is, it is full. It is big, but it's kind of fun because on the back we've got this like swath of orange and gold. I'll have to take a photo for you guys over on Instagram because you are not getting the full impact of that bright orange that's there. So that is really, really pretty. I love the like kind of design work on it and it's huge. This is like definitely a nice long bath I feel like. So I love the theming. I think that just adds a great element to the box. And again, it's a really nice experience. You can just kind of imagine yourself like doing a bath or like preparing your cocoa and kind of like tucking yourself into some warm, cozy blankets on the couch and diving into your new read. So her new read has a kind of a spooky vibe to it, which I think is so appropriate. I think I told them that I like thrillers and like true crime as well as historical fiction. Those are kind of like the genres that I like. I, I occasionally like a little chiclet too. Um, so this looks great though. So it's called Lady Killers. It says Deadly Women Throughout History by Tori Telfer. So, oh, and that sounds awesome, you guys. There have been some crazy, crazy murderous women throughout history. So let's see what it says. In 1998, an FBI profiler infamously declared in a homicide conference, there are no female serial killers, but Lady Killers offers 14 creepy examples to the contrary. Through largely forgotten, through though largely forgotten by history, Female serial killers such as Ezrabet Bathory, Nanny Doss, Marianne Cotton, and Daria Nikolaevna Saltyakova rival their male counterparts in cunning, cruelty, and appetite for destruction. With a feminist lens and a witty, morbidly humorous tone, Lady Killers dismisses easy explanations. She was hormonal. She did it for love. A man made her do it. And tired tropes. She was a femme fatale, a black widow, a witch, delving into the complex reality of female aggression and predation. So you guys, this is so perfect for the season. And like I said, I love true crime. Um, I haven't done a lot of reading. I like watching like true crime stuff, but sometimes the gore is a bit too much for me. That's why I like listening to the podcast. But I feel like reading a book about these gals will be so, so fun. So I love this. I think this might be my favorite box from Peace and Pages so far just because it's so seasonal. They really held all the products together with the theme. Um, I wish that I was more of a bath person. I feel like I could totally read this book in there and really enjoy it, but I'll have to do with uh, having a nice cup of warm cocoa. I've got lots of mugs to put that in. So I'm really, this is like the best book I think I've gotten in a while. I'm very, very excited about this like nonfiction, like kind of like short stories, right? So we're gonna hear about all these different crazy ladies and the not so nice things that they did, but I'm sure they had a reason. Some of the reasons might just be because they were serial killers. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Let me know if you're into true crime at all. I know some of you are already because I've asked this question before. Other than that, let me know what your favorite item was in the box. I think I actually really love those little magnets. I think they're adorable. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Definitely check this subscription out. If you use Noel 5, you can save $5 dollars on your own subscription and hopefully I see you all very very soon in my next unboxing.